Hello, everybody. Hello. This one's gonna be a doozy, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I'm a mess, guys. I'm a mess it's today. It's gonna be a fun one. Hola. It's uh, it's been real. A uh, hotel here. <laughs> Blues for the plague. Yep. I'm technically awake. So it's just going to be one of those. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to clarify, given the nature of oh, the, yeah, true. the time, given the nature of the times that we're living in. I don't have COVID. I just, okay. ha I just have a fucking cold. I just got a cold, and because you know we've been in, you know, a vacuum for the last two years, it's uh, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I, I would say that in comparison to some colds, it's very minor, but the moment I had to sit down and think about things, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Hello, late friends. We're only nine minutes late. We're not that late. We've started some streams half an hour late. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, we've been later for sure. Hello, hello. Hello, Niren. Hello. I should say up top, I'm not going to be here the whole stream. <laughs> I'm here for two hours ish. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got to bail because I've got to be up at five o'clock in the morning, baby. Yep. <laughs> this is the last time you're going to see this arm like this. Take it in. <laughs> last time you're going to see this much blends into the white wall. <laughs> <laughs> this much ghostly pale flesh. <laughs> <laughs> this much completely like paper white. Uh, paint color you get at Dunhill. Oh my god. I forgot you'll change your time already. Yes, we changed ours uh, on the weekend. Yep, we sure did. Yeah, this time tomorrow. I was going to say I would be. Yeah, it usually start before I get off work. Yeah, our time has changed, so. Mm -hmm. It's currently 8 40 for us. Yes. Um, I was gonna say I'll be tattooed up and covered in cling film, but the reality is, by this time tomorrow, I will be asleep from adrenaline crash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably we're not doing D and D tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. That there will also be no D and D tomorrow. Yeah. That will also be a thing. Yeah. I should be streaming Blue something in should. its place. Blue should be getting some rest and <laughs> taking the opportunity to not stream. Is what she should be doing. No. <laughs> Oh. Chap, you know what you have to do. I have a scared. I need to stick to it. I gotta stick to it to be successful. <laughs> Ow. Thank you, Chap. Be nice to me, I'm ill. <laughs> Resty. <laughs> we'll have marketable content after that. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, one opportunity you have to take an evening off. False. <laughs> Objectively yeah. false. <laughs> Thursday is my evening off. <coughs> Ow! I was desperate to launch in on this because I got one left to line, but I need to warm up first before I do anything. <laughs> yeah, in theory, I'm writing today, but we'll see if that actually happens. Oh and guys, you have a new emote if you didn't know. So uh, enjoy, enjoy oh, did that. Did you get that through? Yeah, that's in. This is a new, new emote. It's, as I guess as a celebration for having thirty subs, because I, I, you guys went hecking crazy the other day. And I and I kept rules that I wrote. <laughs> yeah, chat's got rules <laughs> now. Yeah, we're professional streamers up in this shit. It's so professional. Oh my god, I love that when you do a block of them, it looks like they're in rows at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're right, the ears overlap. <laughs> it looks like the, the Jesus hated them because he told them the truth. <laughs> That's so perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It's a really good one. <laughs> Shocked Pikachu remote, but it me. <laughs> yeah. Me and Blue sat down for, I want to say, nearly two hours yesterday. Yes. And just did Twitch maintenance. Yo, Curls is the one who should be the professional streamer here, not me. I don't have the dedication. 
<laughs> or, or the interesting enough persona. <laughs> you got the important knowledge though. Legit Curls came into the, the call and basically schooled me. She was like, you need to be doing this and do this and do this. And I was like, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so yeah, we have a new friend in chat. Hey! Hello! Yeah, we have a, There's we have an old a new friend. friend. There's an old friend right there. But we have a new friend in chat. If you guys do exclamation point, Twitter, TikTok, commissions. The other, ones, other ones, the other ones aren't active. Revealed in time. Uh, you can get some info if people are asking in chat and you don't feel like typing things. Yeah. You can do that. It's in it the, it's in the stream title there. because they know that that's the thing that people do. So you that's can... the thing that people do. I you saw can... you do that actually and I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. But yeah, you can see you can see the exclamation mark things that you can do in the in the stream title. Yes. Yeah, For now, we, there are more. Yeah. But just not We've yet. preemptively made two other ones, but they're not active. But they are to be That's active for... for when we start our game. Should we talk about it? There's a lot of people here. We can talk about we it. We can talk about it. Hi, Silent. So, hello. Not tomorrow, but not next tomorrow. week. Next Wednesday. Um, I have successfully bullied Blue into uh playing dragon age origins for the next 11 or so weeks while Give we're take. on the D&D hiatus. yeah D, D is on break so. so that is filling in the slot which is why I, i'm like i have a one week free game slot that i need to decide on but yeah so we yes. spent like an hour getting that ready yesterday mm -hmm. and then we spent another hour sorting out moobot essentially Moobot yes. doesn't have a fancy name because I don't have the premium Moobot thing and I don't No. Know. Also, like, people know Moobot. You guys know. Moobot. If you spend time on Twitch, you know Moobot. Yeah, Moobot. I like a friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, what joke? I lost my job at the keyboard factory the other day. Apparently I wasn't putting in enough shifts. <laughs> Who this man? I feel like that atones for the lack of king puns we've had in our lives recently. Yeah. It, more sho shocked emojis. <laughs> more, more shocked, shocked emojis. emojis, please. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you, for the one, maybe one person on Earth that doesn't know, Dragon Age is my favourite series of games. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and uh, I talk, well, I don't, I tried, I put a lot of work into not talking about it. Um, and Blue has never played one despite owning one or two of them. Uh, I think two. I think I've been gifted both Origins and two. Damn. Um, my favourite is DA2, but Blue does things chronologically, so we're going to start with Origins. Um, and chat, you can't say shit. Yeah. Totally blind. It's a blind playthrough. Play I actually know nothing about Dragon Age, which again, given that it's like Carl's absolute favourite thing, it's, fr it's frankly a miracle that I know nothing about it. <laughs> Dragon Age is Carl's emotional support subject and she can talk about it whenever she wants. <laughs> oh, I hate that that's true. It's so it's true. Like, and yet you don't, though. I, I was literally saying to Blue yesterday, I was like, I put a lot of effort into not talking about Dragon Age and every so often someone will let me just go off about Dragon Age for a while, but they are they don't have like a matching investment. <laughs> um... So it will be a fun time. We're going to be using um, the rules that Secret Sleepover Society used for their Dark Souls playthrough, which is basically, I can't backseat. <laughs> I can't say a damn thing. Uh -huh. I get to sit there and watch, and you guys in chat get the enjoyment of watching me contain myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, going to be so yeah. yeah. It's going to be so funny for anyone who knows anything about Dragon Age, and and honestly, anyone who knows anything about me, because I'll probably like mess up horrendously and get so many things wrong. And curls can't say a damn thing. <laughs> no, nothing. And to be honest, my first playthrough of every Dragon Age game, I go in at this point. I know I'm going to fuck everything up because you do. You just do. So. But yeah, I've also, with the fun thing about this fancy new bot that we have in chat, chat, is that I can do things like polls. <laughs> so we can, we can have fun in chat. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I basically said, I basically said to girls while we're playing through, if, if at any point she wants to do a poll or a prediction, she can tell me to close chat so I don't see it and then I can reopen it when we're done. I think I'm going to do one for certain character creator choices that I think you're going to make as well. <laughs> but we will see. We'll see. But yes, that's not tomorrow because I'm getting tattooed all day. Yeah, that is next week. But I'm very excited yeah. about it. I'm like too excited about it. 
You, you, I'm, you're literally like vibrating last night. I am, it was I'm, adorable. Yes. I was gonna vomit. <laughs> like, you're so excited, I, yeah. bless her. <laughs> it's so cute. I hate it. It's sincere. <laughs> it's so cute. It's look, look. It happens to the best of us. This is how I get whenever there's Monster Hunter games and I start going, you know, here's many interesting facts about the Tigrex. And it's like, no one no one knows, but they just let me they just let me go on about it because I like it. Well, that's the thing. Like, we had a fun time introducing me to Monster Hunter and I should do more of that with you guys. Yes. Um, so this is going to be kind of a <laughs> tip for tap. Can't wait for character creation. We did meme that the first stream is almost entirely going to be character creation and backstory. It could I, be. In fact, I will guarantee it. Actually, yeah, I imagine it will, because the usual the usual slot is between two to three hours. But yeah. Can I can I hold the reins on this very briefly speaking on things people hyper focus on? Yes, indeed, the floor is yours, good sir. Yeah, please do so I can calm down from the fact we briefly mentioned Dragon Age and that's enough for me, apparently. I just finished Death Battles, Michael Myers versus Jason Vahore. Oh, Jason won. Nice. Nice. Very spoopy for Halloween. Yeah, how was your Halloween, Blue? I know we spoke, but let's pretend we didn't. I mean, I mean, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't do much. So, so I spent the evening talking to you. Um... <laughs> I, and I inadvertently ended up watching like the last half of Beetlejuice because oh yeah because I like went to, to just casually see what Lying was doing and they were watching Beetlejuice on Twitch for a Halloween stream and I was like yeah I guess I'm watching this now. The amount of Halloweens I've spent on watch parties for Halloween movies, almost all my favorite Halloween movies I have been introduced to by that. Oh, that's very up your street, Das. Arthas versus Sauron is like your. I don't say it like that, Arthas. Uh, oh, that yeah, that's that's that's, that's literally you. it's my it's hole. You. It's my hole. It was made for me. <laughs> yeah. She's <laughs> <coughs> already almost drunk. <laughs> stay with me, Blame. You stay with me. You're the one who's leaving early. <laughs> Let's You're sleep. leaving me! <laughs> I've got to sleep. It's, it's valid. Was <laughs> this about a whole made for me? It's an Uzumaki joke. She packed my bags last night. Read it, read chat, read back. <laughs> I don't think it's from Uzumaki, but it's the same author, I think. Is it Uzumaki is Spiral. Mm -hmm. Not 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 the whole. It's the same writer. I can't. I believe it's the same writer. The name escapes I think me. Uzumaki's the name of the writer. <laughs> no, Uzumaki's the name of another story that they made. Yes. Is that, I, I can't remember the name of the writer, but if I saw it, I'd recognize it. I'm looking it up, it. I'm looking it up right yeah. now. If I saw it, I'd be immediately like, yeah, that's them. Juni Ito. Yes, Juni Ito. Ito. That's yeah. silly. Well, we forgot that. Horror manga artist. Yes. The, the <laughs> horror manga artist, really. <laughs> I'll let you know if they just use games for their scaling, Arthas takes the win. If they actually use all of the lore, legit power fiction on books, then Arthas is getting crushed because Sauron made nine Arthas as the ring raids. Fair. <laughs> Calming down. It's one of those things where it's like for these uh, epic fight battles, like I don't, I don't watch them. But I always assume that, like, when they put them together, it's like they try to make them somewhat balanced because it's boring mm. if they just go, well, these two are going to fight and this guy's going to win because he's just infinitely stronger. It's like, cool, well, that's like a, oh, th sure, yeah. that's a 30 second video. So it's like, well, if they're going to make a lengthy video about it, then clearly they've got an argument for both sides. Yeah. Like, it's not just going to be a wipe. No. I'll just change what music I'm listening to. For all, my, for all our talks about me being a professional streamer, I sure did not have my window set up correctly. 
Say this to me, it took me like 10 minutes to set up my windows correctly today. Playing my my go-to game at the moment for just like winding down is Hades at the moment, Wild. which I know is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's one of those things where in concept it sounds crazy, uh, but it's like a, it, the, it's like it's the same reason how like that crazy streamer uh, girl that I told you about who has like all of the savage raid like drops. Oh and my everything. god! Uh, they play like. Dark Souls and stuff to calm down, and they were like, "Am I weird?" And then someone Who is this person. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, they're they're in a they're a gamer god, okay? Yeah, they clearly are. Demily Pyro is a gamer god. Um, for uh, yeah, but it was one of those things where they were like, "Does that make me weird?" And then someone else was like, "Uh, no, because the human brain, you know, is programmed to be." <laughs> I knew it was Demily. Dust knows. Dust knows. Um, the brain is programmed to basically be happy when you do things that you're good at so mm. you know if you're good at when you're good at playing a game even if the game is like hard if you're good at playing it then you're just like well this is a chill out game for me because it makes me happy mm -hmm. yeah it's the same how, how yeah, in, so, in some cases I could potentially play Monster Hunter to chill out if I hunt an easy target yeah if, yeah, I, if, I, if, I, if I like go in and just hunt a, a freaking pookie it's like a freaking breeze and it's just chill chill vibes it's like me when I play Astro because I think it's the car. The ch is when I play Astro to chill out. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. So, so it's not that crazy that you're like I play I play Hades to chill. It's because you're you're good at it and your brain is like comfy with the fact that you're good at it. Yeah. And also like Hades is a lot of rep repetition. Yep. Which is is comfy, you know. Um, but I have accessed I don't know where in me. Apart from the last fight, which I've gotten worse at, I am like, I don't know what part of my brain my Hades skill is stored in, <laughs> but my god, what happened to it? Because I haven't played that game in months. And in the last, like, I've been clearing, like, twice a day. <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, just, it's just the FF stuff. Yeah, I did say to Blue yesterday, I think I've gotten better at Hades from playing Final Fantasy because it's just made me... I don't know. I think it's just made my brain think more when I play games. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. I'm just more aware. Potentially more spatially aware. Well, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Which is possibly why uh, when uh, we're playing uh, FF that I frequently go from, you know, health to no health. Uh, because mm. I think my brain does the opposite because Monster Hunter is generally quite a there is a target on your screen and you need to focus on that target because you need to be looking for some very subtle tells sometimes, you know, subtle mm. sounds. So I think my brain is a lot more focused on this one target than be aware of your entire area. So that's probably why I'll go from max health to no health because I'll get hit by like an AoE that my brain like fully did not see. <laughs> yeah, just chose not to process. Yeah, yeah, because it's because my brain will be like, ah, there is an enemy, so I need to stand here and attack the enemy. <laughs> it's like I've noticed like there's a series of games that I played that have made my like <laughs> like <laughs> my gamer skill like this was The Sims, my gamer skill jumped, um, and it's like Hades, uh. Oh no, sorry. God of War, Hades, uh, Elden Ring. Cult of the Lamb, probably. Cult of the, Cult of the Lamb, I feel like I just use my Hades muscles for. Yeah, probably. Um, but like, I feel like those were like noticeable jumps, but it's the first time I've gone backwards. So like, I've gone back to a game that was like a big growth thing for me, having grown past it. If that makes sense. Yeah. So like, at the time, Hades was like the the thing that was like pushing me the most skill wise, <coughs> um, and then I've gone kind of past that level, 
and then I went back to Hades and now I'm better at it, which is crazy. It's almost like practice. That's why we don't trust him in raids for his monster and duck games. Does anyone play Victoria 3? I don't, but I believe that my, my dear is here. It does. Are you going to play Victoria 3? Um, I mean, I downloaded Sanju's copy, but I don't own it at present. Ah, right. Probably will. You probably will, fair enough. It's a, it's it was, it was just Silent just asked in chat if anybody played Victoria 3. So uh, I think we've seen Stanji playing it. Uh, not seen him playing it, but um, out of all the Paradox games, it's one that's heavily based on like economy and diplomacy and politics. There's not really a lot of war in it. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's meant to be about how you sort of build your nation by interacting with um, like your own market, keeping the economics going, but then inter and then in interacting with other people's markets and like market so he did one where he's playing as the uh, the Joseon mm -hmm. which is essentially pre-Korea so at that time in history they're ruled by the Chinese so he has access to his own market and the Chinese market so he was saying the big I problem think is my brother's playing it uh, well. trying to fulfill your own market's need because China's your ruler they basically get first dibs on everything you make so it's like trying to grow whilst appeasing them and not giving them everything that they necessarily want and giving yourself stuff he says there's a lot of a lot of interacting trying to like negotiate with other, okay. other empires, you know, to try and get fame from them so it's like you can get access to them. Yeah, markets. it might be the one my brother's playing. He's loving it. This is very. Yeah. It sounds interesting. Very it, it, it certainly sounds different as well to have like uh, one of these kinds of like strategy games that isn't just about war again. Well, yeah, that's what because like ninety percent of them are about going to war. <laughs> yeah, Paradox is pretty good for that. You've got Crusader Kings, which is about your dynasty, your bloodline. Basically, you play as a person. <laughs> Uh, apparently Europa's about playing as a nation, so just trying to improve yes. whatever country. That's what my brother plays. Uh, Victoria 3 is now about diplomacy and money and economics and stuff, and that's why it's the only one which is really about war. Right. And then Stellaris is just cool sci-fi shit where you can In like, <laughs> space! Yeah, I want to play a race that's ruled by a dragon. There you go, and then you just play the game. But that's the thing you can just do. Didn't you one time play a, a Stellaris game against Stanji and to take the piss out of him, you made your race be Space Dwarfs? Yes, I did. <laughs> and I did win. <laughs> of course you did. Well, he tapped out. We didn't get to the, we didn't oh. get to the crisis, but he was just... He sucks. He's not good at Stellaris. Hello, Hus. Good to see you again. Uh, it's the hardest game for Paradox, grand strategy-wise, I feel, at least. She's Red Earth Cat. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Red Earth Cat is so, so funny. Red Earth Cat has... <laughs> Yeah, April, Fool, April Fool's joke next year, maybe. Uh, Sanji's been playing it with Cox. Oh, Sanji's like, been playing with Cox Con crew, apparently. Yeah, or Kyle Frost. Or Kyle and stuff. Omzit. Tannis. I know that guy. I just read back in chat, but yes, Das Kate, for real, is scary. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest. The squad, the squad have been playing Duck Game for the memes. I cannot keep up with what's happening in Duck Game. When I play Duck Game, I feel like when I play um, Smash, it's like I physically can't make my eyes consume enough information <laughs> to, to keep up with what's happening on screen. <laughs> I guess you're not used to playing games on PC that are that fast paced against other people. Nope. Uh uh. Nope. <laughs> You'll learn. <laughs> oh, it's not that. It's, I'm not very good at yeah, side scrollers anyway. Playing stupid games with you. Wow. <laughs> That's rude. I've never been good at side scrollers, actually. Oh my god, I'm going to do a deep pull. Ready? Did anyone chat? Did anyone play the Peter Pan game for PC? No. I played the Dalmatians game for PC. Oh, that's a good pull. <laughs> In that era. That era of gaming. Girls, I don't know why, but that made my brain twist. <laughs> um, <coughs> uh huh. Yep. It's. 
it sure is a game. It was the first uh, side scroller I ever played. And it, for some reason, I, for people who don't know, was a Peter Pan kid, like 100%. That was like my, one of my like things. Um, and, but for some reason, something about this game really freaked me out. <laughs> I don't know what it was. But every time I think about playing a side scroller, I think about that game. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense with you, girls. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I know it's public knowledge that I'm a coward, but like, what does that mean? <laughs> Yes, it was this game. Adventures in Neverland. Know that you're a Peter Pan kid. That does, yes, that does read. That does read, yes. Um, my childhood nickname was Tinkerbell. My, my, my parents used to call me Tinkerbell. Um, and I was obsessed with Peter Pan. Uh, I've got some very funny stories about how obsessed I was with Peter Pan before a kid, but maybe I'll keep those. I know this of you, yeah. <laughs> You guys will be happy to know that I was, uh, in fact, always very trash because I was uh, a Dalmatians and Aristocats uh, kid. I, you and my sister are, like, alarmingly alike in a lot of ways. Um, Potentially why we get on so well. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> but every single time my sister came around my house, she used to force me to watch one of the Dalmatians. The one that we had on VHS that still worked, we we ruined a lot of our VHS, VHS tapes. Was the one where they got on vacation? The one, is it the one where they go to London? No. Oh, a different I remember one. Cruella of Niagara Falls. I was a Jungle Book kid. I did also have the Jungle. I had, a, I had a small collection of Disney films by the end of it because my parents were content to occasionally let me get them. But I pretty much always had the ones that basically had animals. In them. And the, the rescue was down under. I distinctly remember we rescue had the, was down under. We had rescue was down us, under yeah. before we had the rescuers, so I remembered the down rescue was down yes. under more. I also only had down under and not the original one. Dalmatian Vacation was the name of the movie. Uh, I also had Lilo and Stitch. I loved Lilo and Stitch. It's mm. about the fam family. See, I was my like oh god Peter Pan Cinderella uh the Swan Lake movies specifically 12 Dancing Princesses uh I think that's pretty much it because I I started watching the Discovery Channel at an alarmingly young age. I didn't really enjoy kids' movies. Watch, I couldn't oh watch Dumbo God. because the pink elephants gave me nightmares. I think everybody got scared by the pink yeah. elephants. That was quite a universal one, I think. American t Tale File Goes West. Ah. Oh. I, I, remem I remember the advert for it. I think one of my VHSs had the ad f had an ad for it back when VHSs had ads in them still. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I'm full that. time. Yes, I watched that full time. Um, I'm going to put a link in chat. Chat, just listen for like 10 seconds and tell me that this music isn't like a little haunting. This is the game. Oh no. <laughs> I like that you can 100% this game in two hours. Classic gaming. Yeah, they were like that. Oh, there's... <laughs> like, it's accessing a part of my brain that feels like it doesn't want to be accessed. Yeah, my we've discussed this on stream before, but all of my media references are like really out of date. 
for someone my age because we only had inherited VHSs. <laughs> Hence why I know so much about Robot Wars. <laughs> but my my aunt, shout out to my aunt if you're you're not watching, but in life, um, she was very she, she was very clear that I had to watch every Disney princess movie at least once. <laughs> Bless. Well, not, not even Disney Princess, but like every like classic Disney movie. So every time I would go around our house, which was often, um, we, uh, I would be subjected to another Disney movie. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is her favorite. I think that it, I, I mostly watched movie. the animal ones, but I think like the Disney Princess movie for me was The Little Mermaid. I knew you were going to say that. I, I didn't that know was that about the... you, but I knew you were going to I that. believe that was the one that my mum got for me, and I would, like, sing all the songs. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I wasn't, like, a big Disney princess kind of girl. Um, but yeah, because Peter Pan was, like, my one. Um, and then... Cinderella, maybe, because I had the music box, and then Pocahontas and Mulan, probably. But we didn't have a VHS of Mulan, so I couldn't watch it very much. Yeah, I'm at the. I think I'm now at the point where, like, we've listed the ones that I had, and then we start to get into the circle of like ones that friends had. So like, we whenever yes. it was like, go over to a friend's house, it was like we watched their their Disney films. So I feel like Mulan, while I really liked it, wasn't one of mine. I think no, a it wasn't had, one of I mine. I think a friend either. had Mulan. It was one of Vicky's for mine. See, it's like I Beauty and the Beast is like Bella's running up there for me, but we didn't have it. I tell you what, we did have. Oh my god, this would be a deep hole for people who know what I'm talking about. There was a collection on VHS of Disney Christmas, where like <laughs> they would. Ha they had like a Christmas tree with a bunch of ornaments on it, and they did like little shorts about like different Disney universes. Yes. Anyone know what I'm talking about? I think I do. But that's like the most Beauty and the Beast that we have regularly had access to, because there was a Beauty and the Beast one, which is where that really beautiful bell dress comes from with the red cape. And it had, and and it had an organ well, in it. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas is the one that we have. Because apparently they do them every year. <laughs> well, they used to. That Beauty and the Beast had an organ in it. Yeah? Yeah, that feels right. I feel like the, and I feel like the organ was like the quote-unquote bad guy. Yes, I think that is Enchanted Christmas. Tim Curry played, and of course it was fucking Tim Curry! Tim Curry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think Robbie knows it's Tim Curry. <laughs> ah, it's probably why it's burnt into my brain. I'm like, I probably yeah. saw that film once, and, then, and my brain's just like, Tim Curry is an organ. We need to remember <laughs> this. <laughs> if you watch Disney movies, do yourself a favor and read the stories they were based off of. Now, this is interesting because that was much more my speech. <laughs> I was given. Um, this is so on brand, I almost don't want to say it. Well, you have to now. Uh, I was given as um, an inheritance, sort of. Basically, there's a member of my family who doesn't have any female children, and she really wanted to hand this down to a daughter if she ever had one, but she never did. Um, so she gave it to me, and it's a full, complete Grimm's Fairy Tales. Of and course. I, I <laughs> preferred them to Disney movies. And I was always that kid that was like, but in The Little Mermaid, she kills him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reads. <laughs> that reads. Uh, God, I'm sure you must have been a delight for teachers to deal with. Teachers fucking loved me. 
Do you know why? Because I was mostly non-verbal. <laughs> oh, of course, <laughs> I didn't yes. say shit. <laughs> I was quiet, creepy as fuck, and had a strange amount of energy. I was a, the best student. <laughs> was not a problem. Was weird. For people who don't know me outside of this stream, for people who just come here to watch the stream and don't, like, aren't my friend outside of this, I am so fascinated by the, <laughs> the image you have of me <laughs> from the stories I've told. Yeah, of what, what am I actually like versus how I am perceived? <laughs> yeah. I have told so many stories on this stream of me as a kid being deeply cursed. <laughs> I swear I'm like, I was going to say I'm normal. That's not true. No, that's, that's not, not, true. not true. One look at my D&D &D character will tell you that's not true. She's not as much <sighs> as a cryptid as she seems. <laughs> I also don't feel like that's true either. <laughs> I'm at least personable. That's what we'll say. Real feedback I had from a human being one time. <laughs> At wow. least you're easy to talk to. Wow. Girls, don't you dare lie, but I always lie. That's the whole point. All of, what was it I said? <laughs> That's what I was put on this earth to do, to be a thought and then lie. <laughs> <laughs> there she is, the harlot of the devil. The devil. <laughs> Again, the impression of people. <laughs> oh. At some point, I'll just accept this is who I am. <laughs> Embrace only yourself, part... it's what I did at the start of the year, and now look at me. <laughs> things, only... in all seriousness, things got so much better the moment I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to embrace being a fucking furry. <laughs> mm. Things have gone yeah. up. The only way of describing curls is just by calling her curls. Uh, I'm a weird person. It's time, we're all weird people. We are deeply, we're a group of deeply weird people. It's gonna be fun tomorrow because I have to sit in a tattoo artist chair for many hours and I will probably, on a, like a nervous tick, feel the need to try and hold conversation. And that will be fun for me. <laughs> You're all weird person. Most everyone is bad here. Yeah, for real. Um... To be fair, I should probably let go of any sort of self-image I have before the Dragon Age stream starts. When I am I'm gonna going go absolutely to... feral. Something's gonna happen to me. Like, I I don't think I think that's the like side of me that I mostly have kept under wraps for the public good. But then, not only are you guys gonna know it about me, but you're also gonna see it on stream. So. Look forward to that again. Das, I've already got thoughts. DM me. We won't talk about it in chat because I don't want to give. I like Blue knows nothing. Oh yeah, absolutely nothing. So we gotta keep it quiet. Just like, the funny thing is, is like, that I think a small things. part of my brain anytime any, but not not you, because obviously there are people in the group who do know Dragon Age. Yeah. So I think crazy, I think yeah. any and anytime anybody talks about Dragon Age, I think my brain actually does zone out. So even though I have definitely been present while loads of you have talked about Dragon Age, I have retained none of the information. And also you're good at going into things, even if you know a thing or two, you're good at letting yourself just experience it. I think you and me are both very good at that. Damn. 
to show my Discord until the task was typing. <laughs> Never think about the past, darling. It distracts from the now. <laughs> Where's that from? It's the Edna mode. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep. Apparently, this is just a Disney theme stream. <laughs> Excuse me. If Curls is the weird one of the group, does that say more about Curls or us? I find it funny. I don't think I'm the weird one <laughs> of our friend group. I I think no, I would, I would also agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> also, me and Das both agree on some things. <laughs> you guys have known me for a long time. <laughs> we have, yeah. We're your, we're your mods. We should know things. I mean, about you being my mods, is you just my friends? <laughs> yeah, but that, no, that's what I mean. Like. Give some memes. Oh boy. Oh dear. I was meant to be writing this stream and I've literally got half hour left. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that went fast. Yeah, it really did. Uh, excuse me. I'm redeeming this because I've just realised that I should do it, so all of you have to do it too. <sighs> Locked in my assumptions, fair enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, when Bluestone Character Creator, I'm tempted to do polls for certain things, but at the same time, I want Blue to be able to go back and forth and change her mind about things. Yeah. So. Hello, child. Wait, excuse me for a sec, everybody, and mute my mic because none of you want to hear me blow my nose. I probably get to hear it, though. Oh, I don't. She loves me. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Duff. It will be a good time. My brain is very much in the mind of, you may have a cold, but you've got one left to line. You can definitely finish the lining today. <laughs> you can do it. You can 100% finish the lining today. There's only one left to do. Do it. We 
we need to figure out what guild hall we want for guild wars? I thought we had a guild hall. Uh, we've got the uh, the standard free guild, which is uh, basically based in Lion's Arch. I believe there's mm -hmm. three or four locations that you can choose to essentially quote unquote relocate to. Oh no! Nice. And uh, I think he, I think it technically doesn't matter where you pick because you'll get like a portal. So I think right, it is. Yeah, I yeah. think it is literally just aesthetic choice. I've I've not looked into it. Which is unfortunate because I am the guild leader, so it is technically my <laughs> my decision. Oh my god, is this also an art stream of the two like guild FC leaders? We are. We're the two guild leaders here. <laughs> How did we get here? Uh, I, I'm the. I'm for a long while. I was the only person who cared about guild wars. <laughs> mm, and yeah, so, same. <laughs> you were a wizard or a bard of a higher level. If you're a wizard or bard of a high enough level, what would your personal magnificent mansion look like? I would change it a lot. Like, depending on my mood, it would either be like, because you can change it every time you cast it. Yeah. It would either be just like a cottage, like a thatched cottage with like some willow trees, a little stream, you know, very like cottage quarry. Or it would be like a straight up Victorian mansion. It would be the it would be the house from um, Narnia. The Narnia movie, mm. the the like old like busts and you know wood floors with red carpet and I feel like mine would, would be very I cottagey. would change it up. Yeah, I would change it up every time. I feel like mine would be very cottagey, but because I'm uh, a bit like Brennan in this, uh, I get happy when uh, the people around me and my friends are happy. So over time, as I learn what people's preferences are, I would change it to match people's preferences. Yes, agreed. So I, I would start with like a cozy cottage as like the hub room, and potentially, as I learn what people's preferences are, make them individual rooms to their tastes. The so union both the leaders like... of the Guild Wars Guild. Oh, sick! No, sick. That's fine. Great. It's something I probably um... would address if I wasn't sick. <laughs> it's MMO Thursday on Thursday. I can address it on Thursday. <laughs> hey. But yeah, I think. Because you immediately go to like, oh, me and all my friends would live in this one. Oh. Yeah, sh shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, no, no, no. I'll change it if people come over, but this is my house. If I can summon a mansion, why wouldn't I invite my friends to live with me? Thank you, Silent. Shibuzi house confirmed. It's becoming reality. <laughs> this is the real difference between me and Blue. <laughs> Potentially the only one. Oh, look! Some of the some of the greatest weeks that I've had have been the weeks when it's been me and a bunch of friends crammed into the same house. All the time. <laughs> That's why everybody gets their own space. I would murder one of you over the kettle. That's why everybody gets their own kettle. <laughs> We're not in the same restrictions as the real world. It's a magnificent no. mansion. Everyone but if I have my kettle. two very large dogs, <laughs> oh well, everybody, everybody's okay with the large dogs because that's the that's the company we keep. <laughs> yeah, they better be. No, no, no one, no one in the group is against dogs. large dogs, curls. <laughs> Look, I've had too many housemates in my life. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you can have my kettle, girls. I use the microwave. Valid. <laughs> and with um, that, Core is forcibly ejected from the Magnificent Mansion. And the band. <laughs> <laughs> Boonk! Yeah. Just splatted out onto the pavement. But no, it would legit be a dream for me. Because, like. Because, like. <laughs> like, do you ever do that thing in your head where you're like, if I won the lottery, I would buy this kind of place? Yes. But every time I think about it, I have a different answer. <laughs> so like, because Magnificent Mansion, you recast every day. I would just change it up. I do whatever the fuck. I do whatever the fuck I want. And if I'm gonna have people over, surprise, change the layout. We need dedicated D and D space. I can yeah. make dedicated. D &D space. I love the freaking. I'm just thinking of when you and me used to be on the server, and you never knew where anything was, and I always did. 
So I'm just now thinking of the hilarious meme of you changing the layout of your mansion, but I still know where everything is somehow. Well, the thing is, the real thing of this, right, is that obviously I am not neurotypical. And so I can only imagine the storage situation I would conjure. <laughs> right? Like, if I... Like, I fully designed the layout and the contents of the house. Can you imagine the chaos that would be doing things the way my brain wants them to be done? <laughs> like, why uh, why are the plates and... Why, why is it... Or, why do you have two fridges and why are they organized the way they are? Oh, that's just the way that my brain works. <laughs> <laughs> That's where everybody's would cultural. Make, that's where everybody's no cultural sense. differences come up. Like when um, Europeans are like, "Oh, of course, you keep the washing machine in the bathroom," and all of us in the UK are like, "You what? <laughs> you do, you do what? Excuse me, washing yeah, machine doesn't what? go in the bathroom." And they're like, "Yes, it the does." <laughs> yeah, cool. It's time to start the discussion in chat. Where do people keep their washing machines? <laughs> yes. Basement garage! Uh. Basement is a curse for to keep your washing machine. Love you. I get it and I understand it. It's cursed. It's Deeply older. cursed. The cellar! Oh no! People be putting their washing machines underground. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in into this. Have you not seen Amnesia? If that shit <laughs> floods, I'm never going down there. <laughs> Why was that the choice? Because I once worked in a pub and one of the mm. beer barrels needed changing and the manager was like, you can go down to the cellar and change it. And then literally as I took two steps away, he was like, oh, by the way, don't worry about the water. We've put down some things for you to stand on. And I kid you not, I went down into the beer cellar and it fully looked like the level from Dark Descent. There was a single light bulb, the water, the floor was just water, and the platforms they had put down were floating beer crates. And I had full on, it's the first time in a job where I have actually gone back to the manager and gone, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's horrific. We have to be sick before we go to bed, aren't I? Would she be sick? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh dear. Yeah, mean? sorry, I went on a massive ramp because it, it was yeah. genuinely cursed. I can't believe That's it. That's like genuinely horrific. It yeah. was genuinely cursed. Go change the barrel, it's fine. We put some some things down for you to stand on. They were just floating beer boxes. It's a quick time event from a video game. It is literally the amnesia of the Dark Descent. Couldn't see the floor, it was just flooded water. I was like, no! No! My storage system for my mansion would look like Minecraft's computer storage. That's true. See, the thing is, with Magnificent Mansion, you can fill it as well, though, can't you? Yes. That would be a nightmare for me, because I would get to remake an entire ward, like, the contents of my wardrobe every day. That's insane. <laughs> I would be too strong. I suppose it's one of those okay. things of the ruling of like you can furnish it, but I don't think you can take those things out. So you would only have no, an you would like, only have an infinite wardrobe if you weren't going out anywhere. Yeah, but when, when if I had a house like that, I wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> That's true. You certainly don't need to go out for food. You'd have to go out to right. resum. You'd have to go out to resummon it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Do you have your washer in the basement so you can have a clothes suit and just toss your clothes into when you've taken them off? Cool, do you live in a hotel? Who has a clothes <laughs> suit? I mean, many people do. There's a very... Places have those. But, like, also... <laughs> I associate them with hotels. My storage system for my mansion would just look like the Minecraft computer storage. <laughs> I've read that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is she trodden in it or what? No, she's just not allowed in the room. No, okay. 
I was like, you're, you're handing me a cat who is just sick and has a habit of sometimes accidentally stepping in her sick after she's been sick. <laughs> Silly girl. Right. There you go. If I'm building a house, I might have a clothes shoe. Oh yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I imagine we have magic clothes shoe, put clothes yeah. in, pop back in your room ten minutes later, cleaned and folded. I believe yeah, that's the, the real thing about that's the real one. Engine. Yeah, I believe the thing I saw where it was discussing how a lot of Europeans have it in the bathroom was literally just, it's because all of the water is piped in there. It's where the water pipes go, It's yeah. where the water is. And I was like, okay, that's a fair reason, I guess, but I guess people are just used to what they're used to and aren't used to washing machines being in the kitchen. Yeah. Dumbwaiter? Oh my god, I always associate Dumbwaiters with um, the Spiderwick Chronicles. Oh yeah! I love that movie. I know that movie was meant to be a bad adaptation of the books, but I love that. Just like sending sending honey and crackers up the the dumb way to, to send to the what were those called brownies? The brownie. <laughs> the Spiderwick Chronicles is one of my main like I've got the, for the old forest. I've got a document that's like all my insps, and there's a bunch of Spiderwick Chronicles on there. Nice. It should have a tail in it, I think. Oh, for sure. I know, baby, I know, but I gotta hold on to you while Dad's cleaning. The great thing about Magnificent Mansion as well is if you had, like, D&D days, you could, like, theme the whole Magnificent Mansion around your session. Oh, yeah. That would be so sick. Honestly, for me, like, one of the most, like ideal things about the Magnificent Mansion is that it's always the right temperature. Oh. <laughs> but the thing is, <laughs> if we all lived in one house, that wouldn't work. It would, because it's magic. That's true. That is true. But, like, you guys would come over my house, my Magnificent Mansion, and you'd all be like, it's too cold. Sadie, you're literally, like, in the way of my drawing arm. She's like, that's what you get. You were the one who was sick! You fuck Fahrenheit, you're gonna make me fucking look up Fahrenheit to see. Oh, for God's sake, use real numbers, Core. <laughs> 23. 23 degrees, that's way too hot. Too warm. Way too hot. My ideal temperature for inside is like 10 degrees Celsius. My ideal temperature for outside is like negative <laughs> 3. It's just got the ways wrong. Have you... Look, anybody who has lifted me up will confirm that I weigh rocks. <laughs> you don't weigh shit. <laughs> you weigh literally nothing. It's appropriate. Can, it's I appropriate can... for me to be weighed in rocks. <laughs> I can lift you, and my hips aren't developed correctly. <laughs> 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 I use weights at the gym heavier than you when I'm a lightweight. Yeah, I think same. Who's little? He's a small, compact friend shape. Unlike me. Look, if you brought up a, a list of, like, heckin' dog species, the majority of them would be heavier than me. Mm. It is really funny, though, for people who have never seen me and Blue in the same place. Like, in the same, like, shot essentially <laughs> uh we are like opposite proportions in almost every way <laughs> i'm very little and very wide and we're very tall and very lanky <laughs> tall and small tall and small i keep seeing that dumb audio that goes around i think it's, it's on like youtube shorts or something like it and it's literally like <laughs> I'm the blonde one. I'm an extrovert. <laughs> I'm the brunette. And I'm an introvert. And I was like, God damn it! Look, it's just, it's just wicked all over again. Yeah. <laughs> Elf and dwarf. Yeah. Elf and dwarf. Yeah. I, Elf used, and dwarf, to, I, I used to rebel at this, but no, I accept it. 
I remember when we were driving to Litchfield and Wicked actually came on the radio? Like we hadn't yes. we hadn't put like a playlist on or anything. And we had it, just turned the it radio. Was, it was just on the radio, and the radio was like, "Hi, it's Musical Sunday," where we put all our musicals on, and then it played freaking uh, the Emerald City, and we were just like yeah. absolutely bopping to it. It was like a, an anniversary of Wicked going to the West End or something. Yeah, and we were just like. It was our time. It was so but... funny because it was obviously it was the Emerald City, and we were literally going for a, like a day, a, a day out, day out yeah. a day out. <laughs> we were just like one shit day. <laughs> and it's funny as well. Every time me and Blue sing Wicked, because Glinda is in Blue's range and Elphaba's vaguely in mine. <laughs> Could not be any other way. <laughs> Sadie. Desperately doesn't want to stay here. Sadie came here to cause tr problems on purpose. Well, yeah, she is. I'm technically working, and Dad should be going to bed, and he's having to clean up cat sick. Gross. Okay. Right, I'm going to put you on the other chair. Ugh. <laughs> this goof is so funny to me now. <laughs> Frankie and Billy has a new menu. <laughs> the people in chat who don't know us in real life, we're not going to explain this bit. Just to trust us, it's funny. <laughs> it would take too long to explain and reveal too much, but it's very funny. got 15 more minutes 20 more minutes of me chat <laughs> do you have anything you wish to say <laughs> <laughs> chat prepare your questions now <laughs> I've done all but three things in the Halloween event. I've given up on the Halloween event. I'm not doing it all this shit. It took me, it took me a minute then to remember the Guild Wars. <laughs> yes, Guild Wars. Yeah. I did. I spent. I spent an entire stream doing a bunch of it, and I've just yeah, not. I was there. And I've just not had the the time or the will to commit to doing more. Yeah, mid. I got my my Halloween Final Fantasy out in one go. And I could have done more, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, I think I basically did the same. I think what I probably should do though is maybe take some of my candy corn and get the outfit because the thing oh, is, yeah. the thing is, is that I have like six candy corn cobs and I actually don't know what to spend it on because a lot of the Halloween stuff I'm just sort of like, ah, it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> do they keep the same currency year by year? Uh, yeah, it, it's yeah, it's classed as a um, technically it's classed as a material, so it can go in your material storage. Yeah, the reason I have six is because I've, accru I've accrued six from basically the last couple of years because I tend to only get about one because you need a thousand candy corn to make one candy corn cob. Mm. So I have six because I've been playing the game for so long. Yeah. And I never buy anything. If I was smart, I would go on and get a bunch of the Halloween items in FF and then hold on to them for next year when they go on the Mog Station for real money. <laughs> and then put them up on the market board, but I don't think they let you. There was something I was about to say and then it left me. Fuck, what was I gonna say? Blue, what was I gonna say? The memory was gone like a ship in the night. It's fully gone. It's fully left. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fully left the building. You can buy some ripped bat wings. They sell for five gold on the market. That's pretty good, five gold. I assume they must be used to craft something. Because on their own, they don't do anything. Kelsey just reminded me that 6.28 came out today. Neren, you're a god. I remember what I was going to say. <laughs> um, November is terrifying. You know why? Because, because there's a new patch. Because Scarlet and Violet is coming out, right? Hell yeah. Is that this week? No, it's the uh, 18th. The 18th. And then, yeah, there's a new patch coming out. 6.3 is this month, probably. There's a live letter this month, which probably means it'll be the week after. And I'm so busy. <laughs> <laughs> I have no time. Yeah. And then also we're doing Dragon Age streams. Yeah, we're doing Dragon Age streams now every Wednesday. But again, the reason we, that we're doing that is because it was a slot that we, we don't have, have filled in. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pro probably going to say it quite a few times between now and then, but it's probably worth me letting people know that, hey, on Friday the 18th, there may not be a stream, because I'm going to be playing Pokemon all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If there was a way for us to stream Pokemon... I mean, th there, there is, but I do not possess it, because uh, yeah, ne no, Nemo streams much. Switch games. For, uh, I don't know, he may end up streaming Pokemon, because he streamed, yeah, uh, if Nemo he streamed ends Legends. Up, if Nemo ends up streaming Pokemon games... We might be there. Because <laughs> we'll probably all be vibing in each other's world. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's up to four people and there's more... I think there's there yeah. might be eight of us, so we might have two worlds running. Two worlds going, yeah. I would imagine so. So that people have options. It'd be like when, we had, when there were a bunch of us playing Monster Hunter World, there was like six of us playing, so we had two three-player uh, lobbies running. Yes. And then it was just, uh, if anybody joined, it was like, just pick whichever one you want to join. Yeah, that would be the way. <coughs> yeah, I was going to say corporate and guild Yeah. Why are they increasing was... warrior anything? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got a vendetta against warrior now. <laughs> Why? Because they keep out healing you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The difference between me tanking the new dungeon and Neren tanking the new dungeon is like night and day. <sighs> warrior is every class. They they clear, out, clearly you need to be leveling warrior. They out heal paladins? That's not a problem. They out heal me. I'm an astro. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they they out yeah out they, it's, it's, not, it's not that big a deal if a tank out heals another tank. They're not supposed no. to heal. It's when they're out healing a healer that you get concerned. It'd be like if a, if a tank out DPS to DPS, because then the DPS is like, well, they're fucking warrior here. Can out warrior can out DPS the DPS. <laughs> Nerf, please. <coughs> Who did they buff? They buffed Warrior. They buffed Reaper. They buffed Thod a little bit, but not really. Uh. Mechanist got a damage buff. Makes sense. Black Mage got a buff. Summoner got a little bit up. Red Mage got a buff. Uh, and so did Sage. Rise into good. Uh, Das, I'll talk to you off stream. How does that look? Cute! Also Astro and White Mage, don't miss that. Oh, I straight up did, yeah. Oh, Astro got a change. Primary target. Was that a thing? That's BS that that was ever a thing. What? Revelation. Well, that makes enough, but. I didn't know that was a thing for Astro. That's BS. 
What? I'm glad that's gone. Basically, three of their cards, it wasn't, but now it is. Three of their cards, apparently, because it affects the primary one you cast on and then uh, people around them. But apparently, it used to not... Because the change is, the primary target and nearby party members of the area effect will now be affected even when obstructed by objects. Oh. Me it was, if there was something between me and the person, the two people, then it wasn't... <laughs> what the fuck? I, I guess I'm glad that's not a thing anymore. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. The list of things that are now diable. A great many things. Good. It's two full sets. Even more data centers. Oh, that's bad. Mm. Fixed an issue wherein players under the effect of Cardia, the Cardia is the, the chat, uh, sages have a thing where they connect to generally the tank, the one who needs healing the most, and every time they do damage, it heals them. It's like their main way of keeping tank alive. Fixed an issue wherein players under the effect of Cardia, granted by the sage action, could not be healed by the sage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, John. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought I was just shit. Aww, Pat's you. No, no, no. Could not be healed by the sage actions. Specifically, Eucrasian Dosis, Eucrasian Dosis 2, and Eucrasian Dosis 3. That was only your AOE doses? Obviously it wasn't an all the time thing because obviously it's only being updated now. <laughs> but like, it must have been occasionally. It's a, it's a thing that could happen apparently. Anyway, I've been sufficiently distracted as <laughs> long. I'm glad they didn't just buff Warrior though. <laughs> I would have been mad. It looks like they just needed to bring everyone's damage up a little bit. More or less. <laughs> Not Dragoon though, fuck Dragoon. <laughs> you guys were strong enough. Stabby! Stabby! <laughs> Stab more, die less. Uh, <laughs> I should buff our defense if you want me to die less. <laughs> That's what they do when they buff fucking Astro. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What? Um, I'm looking at. Don't ask me how I got here, but I'm looking at the highest ranking three companies on Fever. Huh? <laughs> Some of the names. Um, I started laughing because one of number nine, the highest ranked FC on our server, is called the Copium Factory. <laughs> what the fuck? Which is very funny. Uh, number fifteen, fuck it, shit happens. <laughs> how how is that spelled? Uh, F C K, it shit happens. I was about to say, <laughs> shit is fine. Evidently. There's one called Out of Order, 
whose FC logo is like a danger sign with a tongue berry in it. Simply bad. <laughs> It's amazing how many some of these fcs i recognize but some of the highest ranking fcs i've never heard of or seen before or because they spend all their time in freaking raids savage yeah yeah who needs rotation <laughs> people really got latin names in here that checks out Final Fantasy, I think. <laughs> Final Floofalos. That's a good one. <laughs> GG, it's a wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to anyone who's in any of these FCs. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, as as expected, the number one ranking one is Orcs. Orcsalium. Like, you see people with AUX as their thing quite a lot. Number two is... Oh, yo, 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 yo! <laughs> What's the one I feel like I see all the time? Is it Cats? Catnip, yeah. Cats, Catnip's right. number three. Cats, yeah. Uh. Cats is everywhere. Yeah, it goes Orcsalium, Poyo... Cats, Otter de Lix, which is, yeah, we see them around as well, Otter. Uh, and then Lunar Reflection, which I've never seen before. Oh, no, Lunar, I've seen them around. Oh, they raid. <laughs> they raiders. <laughs> I'm surprised by how much of a balance there is in Free Company Alliance. <laughs> That's the weekly one. What's the all time? I'll tell you, I'm still. Okay, how are we looking now? You all lined up? Maybe. Just gonna look. Cafe Noir, we know those guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted now. Some of these guys I like recognize and know. Yeah. Silent is you is in chat. It is silent in chat. I might be able to tell you. Apparently, silent is in chat. Ow! Why have I been boxed? Well. Chiefs gives an exotic back piece if you don't have one already. I think I do already have it. If it's the book, then I did. Hilariously, when you look up our free company, the first thing that comes up is your character, Blue. Me? <laughs> Not the FC. Exo. What? Why? Ow. Who knows? It's them, me, which makes more sense because I'm. Yeah, you're the FC elite. Why am I the first one who comes up? <laughs> I got that stream of privilege. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Hi, Silent. I was just gonna ask you, um, what, what, what you think on on the lines and stuff? Because I think the lines are done, so I can start coloring them all. <coughs> Please okay. excuse my coughing. She's just dying. It's fine. Like a pop channel. What's going on? Aww. Yeah. Yeah.
is thoroughly saved. Okay, Blue, I'm gonna be going in a second, but do you need to, like, stop? No, I'm alright. I'm waiting to see if Silent replies. I sound worse than I am, I think. Um, it's just through a bullet, you. Oh, okay. Keep going for a bit. Do some coloring. Coloring's fun. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna blow my nose again. Yeah, chat. I need to head off because I've got to be up so fucking early. Yeah, you need to you need to go get some sleepies. Everyone say goodbye to my arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not being decapitated; it's just getting covered in your your plain ghosty arm. My plain ghosty ass arm will be infested with ivy this time tomorrow. Ooh, I can't wait! It's gonna be so pretty. I'm really excited. <laughs> My dad looked up the tattoo artist today, and he was like, I think I can live with that. <laughs> That's about girls felt the envy of you. Yes, everyone be envious of me and my beautiful tattoos. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. And I'll remember I have this one. <laughs> Yes, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> I'll see it all the time. Right, this feels weird. Me bailing. Yeah, you're just you're just right. you're just laying ready. It's fine. I'm I'm the one who's waiting. You can you can go get ready for bed. It's time for. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, Daft, I'll message you about things. Um, but yeah, goodbye everybody. Wow, it feels weird living the stream when it's still going. <laughs> A little bit. Enjoy the stream's about to get a lot things. less interesting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, talk to Blue while I'm not here. Mm -hmm. you're, the, you're the co-hosts now. <laughs> <laughs> right, goodbye, everybody. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye, friend! Oh, and there we go. Ow! Zip, and she's gone. Hang that up. There we go. It's just me now. Hi guys, it's just me. Yeah, you get lovely colded up, up me. Question for you: If you could cyberpunk one of your OCs, who would get augmented up, and why? Oh, that's the tricky question because cyberpunk isn't generally my aesthetic. I'm not a sci-fi person. Um. Uh, I guess maybe... Maybe Dell? With like some, you know, assassin augmentations. You know, get some, get some hidden blades, get some like cool, like, legs put in so she can do more dope, like, free-running stuff. Okay, um, make sure that I've got my reference open. I can get these colors correct. Reference sheet away! There we go. Put that over there where I can see it. Awesome. Time to time dilation. Yeah, if that's the thing, double jump just camera I see it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it I think I think it would that would probably be Tala. Tala? No, Delmar Jesus Christ this cold. <laughs> it works as well because like, you know, Delmar one of Delmaro's whole things is that like right up until the very end of the campaign she didn't have any magical ability, so she would definitely go in for augment, I I would think. Especially if it's a, the universe is like, it's the common thing. Where are my layers? Uh, base colors, there we go. Okay. Let's 
start with the white. Oh, that's way too big. Come on, Brian, try and function at least for a, a little bit longer. I can make this a lot easier on myself. Just to start with. And my two characters, one is already cyberpunk and the other has a cyberpunk old backstory. Now I'm just thinking of cyberpunk crumble and that's terrifying. That man is terrifying regardless of where he is. Just here to get my streak points, it's late. Fair enough, friend, it is late. Thank you for dropping in. <coughs> we need to save our points for December 26th. Why? Possibly when someone gets too many augments, uh, 
And when someone gets too many augments, you uses them too many times in the narrative, not in the gameplay, there's such thing as cyberpsychosis, meaning your mind breaks a kind of madness. Ah, fun! That's fun. Wow! Thank you, I will save. Boxing Day. Why? What happens on Boxing Day? I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't understand what's going on. always nice. Okay, let's uh, let's get this hair. Ow, that's less nice. If to save them for Boxing Day, because boxes, right? I see. <laughs> you have such a sweet voice. Oh, thank you. I'm full of cold at the moment. I don't actually know if that's affecting my voice or not. <laughs> I'm a little bit bunged up and it's a slightly sore throat. It's why I keep coughing. I had this discussion with Mally before of Loth being a uh, tech ninja and Thane as Robocop if he got a hammer. <laughs> good night. Okay, good night, Captain. Thank you for dropping by. It's nice to see you. Sleep well. I think I'll save the blending until the end. Do we put the green down first? Maybe put the green down first.
Really excited for the stickers. Eee, so am I. So am I. I'm really hyped about them. Are we getting some colour around, which I, my brain always thinks is when things really start to come to life. It's a separate layer. Look at Lulu! It's funny how I can see you looking at the ref. Yes, you got me sussed. <laughs> My face tracking, looking over at the other screen. <laughs> It's important to use refs. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm sorry, the sniffing's probably super gross. <laughs>
perspective a weird old thing? From the side, it looks like they go down, and then from the front, it looks like they go to the side. <gasps> Luma music! Oh, I'm so hopeful for reality, guys. I'm gonna keep talking about this so much. I'm so hopeful for reality. Oh, why does it have to be so far away? I think I hacked the system of cyberpunk. I have a masculine body, but she, her pronouns. <laughs> They go towards the snoot. They do. Yeah. Uh. Oh God damn it! I knew I grabbed the wrong layer. Walls are on the wrong layer now. Hang on. Got underneath the line art. Let's uh, cut those. Uh. Make a new layer to paste them on. There we go. Florps. Peace. There we go. Okay. A little bit of pink. Not quite going in there. Why is that? Why? Behold, when you have a cold, you can unlock new voice tones. to me. It's not a hack, you can do it in the character creator. <laughs> Behold forbidden voice option. Here we do a little bit of blending. A little bit of blending. That gradient. Yeah, like that. And then we just do the inside of the ears. throat isn't feeling too bad at least. I, it, I'm feeling a bit more nasally at the moment actually. Maybe I'll do myself a bowl of um, that vapour stuff before I go to bed. Clear it, clear it. Try to clear them out a little bit. There's not a lot of Lemsip left in the house and I'm conscious of like I'm gonna feel bad in the morning because colds are always bad in the morning so I might not have one tonight because my cold doesn't actually feel too bad right now. And then if I wake up and feel trash in the morning, then they've got lemsip to have. I can have another cup of tea with honey, which is good. I can keep drinking water as well, also good. Go. Cute. 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 
Oh, this is a complex one. I gotta color the desk and the computer. And then after that, it's the fun one. <laughs> it's the fun one after this one. <laughs> Excuse me. The best one. <laughs> I love that one. Good. It's good. Okay. Base color. Mmm. Good. Can't use the trick I used before. Oh, spicy. Ah, that's better. There we go. Select, select all of these. You're grumbling, child. You're grumbling. She do a grumble. Ah. If it's like I want to get a good night's sleep. Good night, friend. Thank you for coming as always. Ah. Excuse me. Wrong layer. There we go. I don't even know what color to do this computer. I guess it's just going to be like a gray black. Look at that good boy working. Heck yeah. Get this work done. It's a vibe. Peak vibe. God. I'm gonna make myself do um, uh, another art stream uh, tomorrow afternoon as part of our schedule, so uh, I'll be back uh, continuing the colouring because obviously I'm not gonna get the colouring done tonight, there's only half an hour left. Uh, so I'll, I will continue on. I think I'll be somewhat sensible, I guess, and I'll see how I feel since I've got a cold. I want to stick to the the schedule of doing an evening one, but I guess if I don't feel well, I won't do it. Ugh. <laughs> Curse this fragile human body. <sighs> Long snoot equals lots of boopies. Indeed. Hope you get well soon. Oh, thank you. Came on rather suddenly after the weekend. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep doing the afternoon. I'll do the afternoon art because, like, for, for me, colds are very much a daytime, nighttime, daytime thing almost. 
in that you know i wake up in the morning and i feel awful and then maybe they'll get a little bit worse at night but like middle of the day fairly fine <laughs> probably like an air pressure thing or something i don't know so yeah i'll i'll keep i'll be on my two o'clock slot which uh just a reminder for all the international people us, us folks in the uk uh recently changed the clocks so double check uh, where that's going to be, what your, that time is going to be for you. I believe we've gone forwards. Forwards? Back? No. Back? I don't remember. Ah. If you feel worse, please go to the vet. No! I don't want to go to the vet! No! Back, okay. America swaps over November 6th. I think we do it for the last time next March. Yeah. If I if I feel fine, then it'll probably just be some kind of game in the evening. I don't know what. I did have the thought that I keep saying I want to try streaming VR chat sometime. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. It's weird though because I feel like if I'm going to stream VR chat, I want to stream VR chat like with friends. I suppose I could do it on my own. Just like show off some cool worlds. Ah! Hello! Hello, child. The Senate unanimously approved a measure that would make daylight saving time permanent across the United States in November 2023. Him nakey. Him, him missing his markings. Him nakey. <laughs> That's a dangerous place to be. That's where my feet are. You don't want to get stompied accidentally. Come here. Give me a cuddle. Looks interesting, yeah. You're naked. Silent, put some clothes on. <laughs> oh, don't panic, Sadie. Just have a little sit on my lap for a bit. You might actually get comfortable because I'm warm. I'll keep you warm with my body heat. Okay. Let's see, um. Start with.
Gonna keep this world from pushing me down. Stand my ground. Get up. Won't back down. Sit there, you'll be all right. Nope, I'm gonna push against your arm. Make it so that you can't draw straight. Sadie, why are you such a fidget bottom in the evening? Still requires house and president approval. Ah. <laughs> so, not actually, might not actually happen. So much. Hey, calm down, baby. Then she keeps she keeps thinking that she's falling when she's not, because I've got a hold of her. Okay, I'm gonna put you on Dad's chair again. Irresponsible Right us on the page Why does the side profile keep vanishing? Where do I keep hiding it? There we go Look the way I can see him so many windows open all the time so I can see the chat and see my music and make sure things are working. <laughs> Excuse me! 
Excuse me, ugh. Ugh, terribly sorry. Sing along so bad. We built this city on rock and roll. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. We built this city. Nope. 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 There we go. Get those eyebrows in. Excuse me once more, guys.
least my ear isn't blocked anymore. Last night I went to sleep with a blocked ear. I spent most of the morning with a blocked ear. And about lunchtime it fixed itself. That is unpleasant to deal with. God, I'm blind and very sick. I didn't even register that Spook had left his computer on. Bless him. Because it counts as an extra viewer. <laughs> left his computer on to watch the stream. Aww. <laughs> Okay, day.
I've changed my mind. A sigh, no shiny death skulls. I ain't even looked. I haven't even looked. A friend did invite me to a death skull raid, but I didn't notice the notification until there was like five seconds left, which was not long enough for me to engage. It was unfortunate. I was trying to capture a uh, liquid. I thought I would just pass, figured it was the best option for a shiny. I fully skipped it. Fully skipped it. Also, my phone, it doesn't have a lot of charge. Ugh, I should put that on charge. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea and stuff before I go to bed. Are you going to go over the golden, uh, copper and gold parts after you're done colouring? Yes, very likely. Uh, I loop that in with, um, sorry, words, brain. Um, I don't know if we're going to, uh, put any shading on this yet, that's up to you. Uh, but I loop that in together in that category of, like, uh, shading and highlights together. Obviously I've done the eye highlights because you kind of need them. Um, but yeah, uh, I, gr I group shading and highlights together, so the highlights will be, uh, getting grouped in to give them a, a, a bit of a slight sheen to them. <laughs> That's the hope at any rate. <laughs> it's only showing up for today and tomorrow so I wanted one because it's going to be rare-ish. I haven't even had one and I'm probably not going to get one now. Ah. <sighs> oh yeah. Obviously on this on this scale, it's gonna be very tiny details, but like you know, it's gonna be a little little bits of shine on them. Give them a bit of a shimmer. Yeah. 
Yeah, like that. <laughs> kind of like with the eyes, really. Think of it like I'm applying a specular map. <laughs> oh god. I I feel like I could only say that to you and you would get what I would, what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay, uh let's get these blended. So I play like I've applied the little white highlight to the eye because uh, generally you find if you don't do that they look a little flat because we know in our brains that eyes are very very glossy. <laughs> the screen. That's very silly starting the screaming again. Oh boy, um, right. <laughs> right, what colour do we make these? What colour do we make our gaming PC? <laughs> We're just gonna be black, I guess, right? Unless you have a you unless you actually have a specific colour. RGBs. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Make it black like my IRL mouse and keyboard sick. Grumbling, baby. You realize you're not shut in here, right? That door's open. Oh my goodness, you daft cat. That door is open. You can go out. Now, why are you grumbling so much? Uh, all oh, right, desk. Desk. Should probably give the desk a color. Desk, cool. <laughs> layer. This is going to be one of those ones where I probably solidify the actual like edge of the brown once I start when I'm doing like the cropping. Because obviously this just kind of goes off into uh, into oblivion. <laughs> so um, yeah, because like you know this could probably this is going to get cropped here because it's where the lines end. Just don't do that. So uh, yeah, that will get uh, sorted out. And it's getting cropped. It's going to cut off about there-ish. And uh, the bottom's probably going to get cut off like here-ish because that's where the mouse uh, ends. Because we don't want it to be like 50% desk, that's not the focus of it. It'll be like that, probably. We'll extend this a little bit out here. 
Uh, I'll need to extend this edge. Ba -ba -ba. Mines. Nope, I'm using the wrong pen, that's why. Ow! Oh, baby! So the door is open. You can leave. You can leave. You don't have to cry at me to open the door for you. This child is trapped. What a horrible life. This poor child. There we go, that's better. Okay. Here comes the difficult bit. Excuse me. the chest oh, slightly lower underneath the ring we go save thank you and then we go down across up and then across and then here we go down across no I need to go across more now I think I'll change that in a sec across up across let's grab this Move it along, because I gotta... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong lines. The brain is frazzled. This goes across. It's down, and then across to here. Where it ever so slightly comes down. And then out to here where we can't see it because of the desk. So this starts here, comes across there, across to here, down, and then across to where we can't see it. Okay. Markings are so hard, I'm sorry. It's fine! <laughs> I just gotta, I gotta my last little bit of concentration before I can peace out for the night. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do slightly smaller because perspective. In fact, we're gonna do both of these slightly smaller. together. A little bit too small. Oops. Had a mysterious third colour there for a second. Failed to concentrate 
concentrates to check earlier, she can only hold it for another 5d10 minutes. This is correct. I'm pushing through. I'm aware it's 10 past 11. I should be finishing. I want to at least get this one done, because all I need to do is this. Oops. And this one would be like... There. There. You only see the cusp of it. Like that. Ah, okay. There we go. Markings. Definitely get a trip for me. <laughs> You're so sweet! I'm sorry I'm all full of cold. Blech. <laughs> okay, there we go. And we do our little magic. A bloop! And we... I bloop it up. There we go. Woo! Look at that! <laughs> oh, ah, okay. Oh, sit back. There we go. Lines got completed. Cookie, your timing is incredible. I'm going to bed. I'm literally signing off. Hello, friends. <coughs> Excuse me. Nearly halfway there. Yeah, we we just finished number five. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. Yeah, so... Oh, no! <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, we finished the lining on number 12, the hello, down in the bottom. And we've uh, coloured uh, the heart and the working one. Uh, is this is that Chaotix? No, this is silent! <laughs> you know what Chaotix looks like, Cookie. He looks nothing like this. <laughs> This is the lovely silent. I'm on phone, fair enough. <laughs> ah, cool. Hey, as I said earlier, I'm gonna start putting the tablet to one side. As I said earlier, I'm going to be doing another art stream tomorrow afternoon. It's gonna be two o'clock UK time. You, us here in the UK just changed our clocks, so double check uh, your appropriate time zones. I don't know um, if Twitch will display... I think Twitch should display the correct time for you on the schedule page, which will be, you know, down in, down in the bottom. Germany 3. I think it's... I think you were an hour ahead of us before. I don't know if you're now two hours ahead of us. It's, mi it's midnight. Okay, so you are still one hour ahead of us, but... Well, you stop screaming! The door leaves open! Oh my goodness. Ugh. Who's DMing me? Oh dear. Right. That was silly. Okay, um... Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm excited to do these tomorrow because honestly, these two are, I think, are potentially my favourites, just from the lining. So I'm really excited to colour these boys. I'm really excited to colour these two. And we're going to colour them tomorrow. It's going to be two, two, 2 o'clock my time, it's going to be 3 o'clock your time in the afternoon. Uh, hopefully I will be less full of cold, because I'll have had some sleep. Uh, yeah. We're not going to be having d d in the evening. d d is cancelled for this week. I want to do a game, play, stream in its place. It's going to depend on how I feel because of this cold. I don't know what game I'm going to play, so you will just have to come and find out. It's going to be about 8 o'clock my time. <laughs> 9 o'clock your time. I don't know what I'm going to do, so yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Schedule. Um, Thursday is MMO day. 2 o'clock in the afternoon we're going to be playing Guild Wars. And apparently I have guild stuff to manage. So that's fun. Uh, Friday is meant to be our couple chaos where I play games with my darling dearest beloved Spook. We are currently playing through Minecraft together. I don't know if that's going to change, but that's just what we feel like playing. It's just a chance for us to play games together because he's so busy and I'm so busy that we've had to get to happen. Saturday I have off Sunday's Pokemon Sunday. I will have TCG cards to open and then we come back around to the new week. 
uh, and who knows what we'll be doing next week. But yeah, you can you can see my same schedule below. Uh, yeah, um, this is the usual bit where I just ramble for a bit. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching and you know being just really sweet. It was really nice. Thank you for all the subs I had this week. As you can see up in the top corner, we had 30 subs this. We got 30 subs. That's like ridic. That's crazy. It means I feel less bad about buying Pokemon. <laughs> I'm only half joking. Um, yeah. This meme music is perfect for this weird cold vibe. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna have a cup of tea with some honey in it to soothe my throat. I'm gonna wind down for a bit. So, thank you so much. I love you all. Take care. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye!